Okay, so in the last lecture, we covered some of the basics like creating an account with Squarespace and filling in some of your basic website information. Now let's go ahead and change the template into one that fits our needs. So we'll go to design and then template. The one we have right now is called Wells. Let's go ahead and install a new one. So there's dozens of templates to choose from and you can install as many as you'd like and you can switch between them as often as you'd like as well. You can filter them up here depending on your category that you want your website to fall under. So we'll leave it at all and I'll show you some of the ones that I really like. So there's Bedford, Marquee, and Alex. Those are probably the three that I use the most often for my client websites. So first we'll preview Bedford. I used this one for a lawyer and another company that provides a service. So it kind of looks like this. We can customize everything about it. So don't really look too much into like the images and the wording, just more of the structure. So it has like a button up here. There we go. So let's take a look at Marquee. So Marquee is a one page parallax website. So there's lots of sections put together into one page and the images are nice and parallax. And you can create more than one page. So it looks something like this. Now finally we'll take a look at Alex. So in this example they used it for a wedding but you can use it for anything. It doesn't have to be a wedding. I've used this exact template for a drone company that does photography. So again parallax images, very nice looking website. And those are the choices that we have. So let's say that um, the website that we're going to be using is for a website development company. So I'll go ahead and I'll pick the Bedford one because I think that one looks a little bit more professional. And we're going to actually click on preview just right over here. So it'll show us what it looks like. And then we're going to set it as a live template. Now don't worry about this error here. That's perfectly fine. We're going to go back. We're going to go back again. And then we're going to go into pages. Okay, and then I'll show you how we can modify these in the next lecture.